Hi. Uh, today, I will continue to, to the lectures. So let's remember uh, when we have a plane algebraic, algebraic curve, so it's a polynomial in two variables. And suppose P is zero, zero, and we say that F of P is in F if uh, uh, F of P is zero, F of zero. So we will take P to be zero. And uh, we can, we may write, so since F of zero, zero is zero, we may write F, uh, the polynomial F as, uh, as Fm plus Fm plus one, blah, blah, plus Fn, where Fm, uh, F, uh, each Fi uh, is a form, form of degree I, degree I, uh, namely it's a homogeneous polynomial of degree I, and also Fm, is not zero. So uh, if, so this is true whenever, it, this is true even f of p is not zero, so let's say. Uh, okay. Uh, now, so this m is called the multiplicity of, uh, uh, so let's, multiplicity of P. Okay. Uh, and uh, this, well, well, in general, if M is equal to zero, well, then P is not on F, so that uh, F of P is not zero. So, or, or P is not on F. And, uh, and P is on F if and only if, Zero, zero is on F, if and on if, it's multiplicity, multiplicity. this M, M is, remember, this M is uh, equal, this M is M, P, F, we also denote like that. This is uh, greater than zero, greater than or equal to one. Greater than or equal to one. Uh, and we say that P is simple point, uh, if uh, if and only if m is equal to one, and uh, it's a double point. If and only if m is equal to two, a triple point. If and only if m is equal to three, etc. So you may continue like that. So here are some examples that we. Uh, I will write these examples before. Remember, if you look at the polynomial uh, y minus x squared, y minus x squared, or p is equal to y squared minus x squared plus x. So the lowest degree terms are one in, in each of the, these case. So that m is equal to one, so that, uh, uh, Zero zero is a simple point. Simple point, and if we take c to be y squared minus x cubed, or d is equal to uh, y squared minus x cubed minus x squared, so the lowest degree terms the f n is is in this uh, in the case uh, c f n is y squared. In D, F M is uh, Y squared minus X squared, so that M is equal to two in this case, so that it is a zero, zero is a double point, double point. And uh, if you take E to be uh, X squared plus Y squared squared plus three X squared Y minus Y cubed, in this case, M is three, so this is the lowest degree term um, is three, the homogeneous term. And uh, if we have the polynomial f of f, f of x, y is equal to x squared plus y squared cubed minus four x squared y squared. So this is the lowest degree term. All the other terms have degree six. And this is the lowest degree term. 
uh, is degree four, so that m is equal to four in this case. Okay, and uh, in an algebraically closed, let's say if k1 and k is algebraically closed, uh, this f, when we write f is equal to, uh, when we write f is equal to fm plus blah, blah, fn, so this is the lowest uh, degree form, then we may write f uh, fm is, as uh, since it's algebraically closed, we can write is, is we can write it as a product of linear factors, uh, ls, and with multiplicities here, r1, r2, rs, and these multiplicities are the, so this li's are, all li's are uh, different, and uh, different, and uh, they are linear factors, linear factors. And these li's are called the tangent lines. Tangent lines to f at p. So we we have uh, we covered this so far. We have done this last time. Anyway, uh, so for example, if we have a curve like this, for example. So here, uh, at every point other than that point, at every point there is a unique tangent line. So that other than the point is p, every other point, if q is on p f and q is not equal to p, then q is simple. Is 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 simple, and uh, this p is a double point. Double point. Is a double point. Oops. Double. Double point. Okay. Now next. Next, we we'll continue like this, and we also said that if R i is equal to one, and the uh, this uh, L i is uh, simple, simple, to simple tangent line. And uh, if, uh, let's say F has M distinct tangents, tangent lines at P, uh, then P is called an ordinary multiple point. P is called ordinary multiple point. So for example, uh, in this example, this P is an ordinary uh, double point because it's a double point, but the uh, tangent lines are different. But if you have, if you draw a curve like this, for example, at that point, uh, the tangent lines uh, uh, are multiple, so that it is not a not ordinary double point. This is a double point, but not ordinary. This is ordinary double point. This is not ordinary double point. And this is ordinary double point is called, uh, it has a special name, node. I used to hear this term, which I didn't know the meaning. Anyway, so examples, let's see. Uh, this examples, or uh, A is y squared minus x. Uh, uh, is it y squared minus x or y, y minus x squared, sorry. Y minus x squared and uh, B is equal to, remember, uh, what was B? B is uh, y squared, y squared minus x cubed plus x. These are, have only simple, these have only, only simple points. 
the reason is that zero is zero is a uh, simple point because uh, uh, this fx, remember, uh, if fx is not zero at the point p or or uh, fy at the point p is not zero, and it's a simple point, so that in this case, in the first case in A, F, Fy is not zero, in the second case, Fx is not zero at zero, so that uh, these are simple points. Uh, and if you if we look at the curve C, which is Y squared minus X cubed, Remember, its graph is something like this. We sketched the graph here. Uh, make it a different color. Uh, it's something like that. Okay. Then. Uh, in this case, this the term C2 term, or C2, the, the lowest degree term is y squared, and C3 is minus x cubed. These are the only non-zero uh, forms. And so that zero, zero, in this case, zero, zero is not, is not ordinary double point. Double point. The reason is that uh, it has two tangent lines. The tangent lines are y squared, namely y and y, so that the tangent lines are the same. So that, uh, yeah, L1 is y uh, with multiples C2. And uh, if you consider the e example, the, the polynomial C, y, uh, D which is y squared minus x cubed minus x squared. This is, uh, in this case, uh, this is, uh, you, you may write it like that. This is y squared minus x squared minus x cubed. So this is the lowest degree term, d2. And we may write d2 as y minus x times y plus x so that it has two distinct uh, tangent lines, two distinct, it's a double point, distinct tangent lines, tangent lines. Uh, let me sketch the graph here first. This graph is something like that, like this. Okay, so here at zero, zero, it has distinct tangent lines. One of the tangent lines like that. The other one is like this. So this is y minus x, this is y plus x. So it's a double point, zero, zero is a double point and the two distinct tangent lines. So that is um, zero, zero is, uh, the zero, zero is ordinary, double point. So that it is a node in particular. This is a node here in this example. Maybe I should uh, delete the tangent lines. So that this zero, zero is a node. Yeah. Is a node. And uh, in the example, in the example, the polynomial uh, F, or E, sorry, in the polynomial E, we have uh, polynomial E is X squared plus Y squared squared plus three, x squared y minus y cubed. So this is the lowest degree form, E3. And E3 can be written as, 
can be written as y times square root of 3x minus y, square root of 3x plus y. So that it has three distinct tangent lines, uh, three distinct tangent lines are ordinary. 0, 0 is ordinary uh, triple point. Triple point. So remember, its graph is something like this. Uh, so you can draw best, this is not uh, something like, it should be something like this. Uh, you can draw best in this, uh, this picture in, oops, in polar coordinates. Okay, so that it has three, um, distinct tangent lines at this point, at the point zero, zero. And uh, one more example that I'll consider the function, uh, the polynomial f x squared plus y squared cubed minus four x squared y squared. In this case, this is the uh, uh, f four. So that f4 is minus four times x squared y squared. So that it is, uh, there are tangent lines are, we may forget about this constant. Tangent lines are L1 is equal to x and L2 is equal to y. And this has multiplicity two. So it is minus four times L1 squared by two squared. Or if you like, yeah. Can, we may, this constant is not important, as we said. Uh, so that this is not a uh, ordinary multiple point. Zero, zero is not ordinary multiple point. I will not sketch the graph of this. We have sketched this before. And for the convenience, for the convenience, if L is a line, And is a line uh, through P, oops, through P, uh, P is, is zero, zero. That is not tangent. Uh, tangent to P. Then we say that it is called uh, a tangent line. Bit multiplicity is zero. Multiplicity is zero. We may say that. So, for example, if you pair like that, then when you take this line, uh, it has, its multiplicity is it's this is f, for example, this is p. The multi, uh, it's a tangent line with multiplicity, multiplicity zero. Uh, in above example here, the this tangent line has multiplicity, multiplicity two, and this tangent line has multiplicity two. Or I, I, instead of, for example, here, uh, y, you may write two times y. It doesn't matter. They are the same lines. Okay. Next. Okay. Next, I will start with the multiplicity and the local ring. I will not give all, all proofs, but uh, let's start with the section 2.2. 2.2, <coughs> 2 the 3.2, sorry. Multiplicity, multiplicities, and uh, local rings. So we will. Uh, Relate lo lo local rings with the multiplicities. Multiplicities. Okay. Now let uh, suppose that F uh, be uh, an irreducible planker. Irreducible planker. Planker and uh, F of P is zero, so that P is on F. 
Uh, let's recall this. I will recall that we denote by gamma f to be the all uh, the polynomial ring divided by the polynomial um, ideal generated by f. So it's a prime ideal. So that uh, okay. Here is the notation. Notation. Uh, I will use the notation, but uh, okay. Notation. Uh, I, I may use both rot notations. Let me say this for uh, for a point in G in K uh, X Y. So let uh, G denote the left coset of uh, K coset of this G. And we before uh, we namely G is equal to G bar in previous lectures. Uh, uh, we denote it like that, G bar. So here's a theorem. So P is a simple point of F. So P, F is an irreducible plane curve. P is a simple point of F if and only if this uh, local ring OPF is uh, a DVF, discrete modulation ring. And in this case, in this case, if uh, L is equal to AX plus PY, plus C is a line through, is a line through, through P, line, oh, sorry, line through P, not tangent to, tangent to F at the point P, then the image The, the image, oops, the image L of L of the capital L uh, in the image in OPF image in OPF uh, is a uniformizing parameter. parameter uh, for the maximum ideal. So namely, namely, so remember, uh, OPF is a local ring, so that it has a unique maximum ideal, and that unique maximum ideal is generated by L. So that L generates the maximal ideal ideal of OPF. So remember, this OPF is a, a local ring, which is the notarian. And if the maximal ideal is uh, in a local ring, if the maximal ideal is uh, is a principal principle that it is the DVR that we proved before. So in this case, in order to show that when P is a simple point, in order to show that uh, OP, uh, the OPF is a DVR, we just need to show that it's maximal ideal, namely the ideal uh, consisting of uh, consisting of non-units is its principle, and it will be generated by L. So here's a proof. Is a proof. So, uh, so remember, I will. Do, so, if we have a curve like that, F, then by uh, changing coordinates. So, by changing by ma by mapping me. So, this is coordinates. 
So if we move that coordinate to this point, we may assume that we may assume that uh, by change of coordinates. So if p is equal to a b, namely instead of x, uh, you write uh, x minus a, and instead of y, you write y prime is y minus a b so that you get a new polynomial in this new polynomial now passes through the point zero zero so that we may assume assume uh, that uh, p zero zero is zero the tangent line by rotating the x-axis uh, we may assume the tangent line is is L. So in this, this picture, it might be misleading. So that, well, let me draw the curve like this. So, so if this is the tangent line, for example, in this case, in this picture, if this is the tangent line like that, uh, we write X prime to be that the tangent line and Y is. Now also, we may also assume that, so, if if that is the uh, tangent line is is the is y in x axis, the curve is like that, and the tangent uh, and the line L will be something like this. So that L is in this form a x plus b y. It passes through the point zero zero. Now, uh, oops. Now, if we write x prime is equal to x, y prime is equal to ax plus by in this new coordinate system, and then say uh, x is equal to x prime again, in the new coordinate system, our curve will be like this. Uh, our curve will be something like that. And uh, the, this y is the, the, the x axis is the uh, tangent line, and the vertical line is something like that. So we may assume that the curve is like that. Okay. Now, uh, there are two, there is a confusing thing which I will clarify now. So, Remember, we denote by m by m p f. That's the multiplic uh, multiplicity. Multiplicity of f at p. This is, let me change color. And there's also another m. This is m. It's called the m p f. Which is this is the uh, the maximal ideal. O P F. So let me write like this M is this M is like that. And the ma maximal ideal M is something like script. Just let's, let's use this notation like that. So so we will say that, uh, so in order to prove uh, this, that this part, in order to prove prove this implication, uh, it, so what, what do we do? So OP is a notarian ring that is local, just we need to show that only it is maximal ideal is uh, principal. Uh, this M is oh, something. Oh. Uh, M is this M is generated by X. By X. Namely, that X is the image of the polynomial X. X is in this case is L, of course, because L is uh, 
and is oops and is this x okay hmm. next <laughs> so uh, so in problem uh, 2.42, uh, problem in 2.42, we showed that uh, the maximal ideal of, uh, uh, maximal ideal is generated by X and Y uh, in OP, O0, OP, A squared, A2. And in the, uh, sorry, in 43. 43, 43, 43, 44, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, by the image of X and the Y, right? The image of these X and Y. Sorry, this is X and Y, like that. So, so we need to show that uh, this is generated by, so we need to show that the M is, uh, is equal to X, so that we should be able to write Y in terms of X. So if, since F of zero, zero is, zero and uh, uh, y is the tangent line to f at zero zero the v f is the polynomial f of x y is in this form this is the higher degree terms higher terms and uh, so that we may, we may write uh, f as uh, some so if we factor out, if you look at all the terms containing y, uh, we may write it as y times some g, uh, g minus x squared times h, where because a, uh, because uh, because y is a tangent line, because y is tangent line. Well, well uh, here, tangent line. Uh, here, uh, G is in this form, so that it's higher degree terms. So G is of degree zero, and uh, H is uh, H is a polynomial in X. So, so since we factored out all the terms to, uh, involving uh, Ys, we have this so that uh, so there is no y term in uh, h there is no y y in the terms of h and uh, uh, it must be a multiple of uh, it must be a degree 2 the reason is that uh, we can factor out x squared if it is x for example if h said if h is of degree 2 uh, in degree zero, and if we have x instead of x squared, then we would have the first degree one term of f would contain x, x term. Anyway, uh, in this case, uh, so if we look at the images of these uh, terms in OPV, so in OPV, uh, we have zero, namely the class of f is zero, image of f is zero, image of y is little y, image of g is little g, minus uh, image of x is little x squared times h in this uh, coordinate ring of f. So g is a unit in kf, g is a unit in kf, uh, the reason is that uh, the, its unit, the reason is that the, the, 
the inverse of g is uh, one over g, right? Because g is not zero at zero. G is not zero at zero, so that inverse of g, so inverse of g is, is one over g, right? Okay, g is a unit, so that uh, from y times g is equal to x squared h, we get y is equal to g inverse times x squared, uh, uh, h times x squared h times x squared, so, so that we can write y in terms of x, so therefore the ring generated, the, the ideal generated by x, y, namely the maximal ideal, uh, is, is only generated by x, so that, uh, so that m is principal, so that m is principal, this m is this script M, the ideal, maximal ideal, is uh, principal. So that this OPV is, uh, OPV is, uh, is a DVR. Okay, that's it. And I will not prove the converse. And here is uh, one more uh, result in this section, in this chapter, which I will not prove. Again, let me, but, but it shows how uh, we can write uh, multiplicity of a point in terms of uh, rings, in, in terms of these ideals. So let F be uh, irreducible. Irreducible, uh -huh. irreducible polynomial polynomial in K X Y and let f of p is equal to zero. Then for sufficiently large, then for sufficiently large n. Let me write like that for sufficiently large n, uh, so for big n, then uh, large n, the multiplicity of p f of f at the point p is you look at the uh, this maximal ideal it, of p of f at the point p. Let's look at n power and divide by the n plus first power uh, and look at it, its dimension. Let's have a vector space or uh, what it might be a three module. A vector space and three module are almost the same. What's the difference between the vector space? Well, you know the, what's the difference between a vector space and free module? Uh, remember, a module, free module, is almost a vector space, except that uh, the, the instead of field, you you take a uh, ring, you take a ring. That's it. There is only, that's the only difference. Okay, uh, I will leave this uh, this lecture here.